Hey guys, I have a jumper show today, so I'm gonna vlog and hopefully get some video of my rounds. So yeah, let's get going. jumper show he was super super good I was so happy with how he was usually he's super up jumping and gets like almost uncontrollable <laughs> which is not good but he was really good and we got some really good turns in it was super good I'm very happy with him although in the second round he pulled a shoe so we ended up having like half a rail I guess it like fell and landed on the rail below it which I guess they counted fine whatever I think I'm pretty sure that would be counted anyway, but we didn't get to do the jump off, but we got first in our first round and then second in the second one and then reserve champion. And I didn't do the third one, which is pretty good considering I got reserve. <laughs> but right now I'm just picking up Tango's fly mask and muzzle because she uh, ditched it again. So I'm gonna show you guys how I wrap his foot after, I pu after he pulls the shoe because he still has to go outside. I don't want to leave him in. A lot of wall off last time and then we used glue to fill in the holes and then he pulled that one. And then the other shoe is very loose. He like has very, very bad, he has very bad hoof quality. We're not really sure why because his diet is like ridiculously perfect. But yeah, I'm coming back to the barn and the fans are on so you probably won't be able to hear me but here they are. Are you innocent? So I'm innocent. I didn't do nothing. You're innocent too, right? <laughs> so in this side of the barn, I have my like first aid and shampoo stuff. So yeah, I'm going to get my magic cushion. This one's empty, but I was keeping the container for like if I travel. So I have the magic cushion uh, hoof packing performance strength. Ooh! Spill it. <laughs> Hopefully the top goes back on. Thankfully it did not spill very much. So when you're doing using that stuff, you need to use gloves. I just need one and then down here I have like my hoof stuff so I'm gonna need duct tape 
I have like a ton of that wrap. It's not the real bat wrap, but it's, it does close enough. Then I also have these Equifit hoof things. They're like a little sheet and they work okay. Like decent. They don't get wet, but yeah. That should be everything I need. Then over here I have paper towel. I'm gonna put some paper towel in there. <coughs> I'm gonna try to get a good angle on this. I'm not really sure how it's gonna go, so it might be really, really bad. But I turned the fan off so that you guys can hopefully hear me while I'm telling you what I'm doing. So first I'm gonna get all the stuff out. As much as I can at least. It looks pretty rough. Okay, so. I'm gonna take my magic cushion. You don't need a lot, especially because he's barely got any hoof. So I'm only gonna put like, I'm only gonna put like this much. And you wanna make sure that you get it into the grooves here. Stop being impatient. And then up by his frog. And then the rest you can just like, oh I dropped some. Spray onto the sole of the foot. Or not spray, like spread. Stop. And then I like to put it on so to like chip the crap out of it. I like to put it on like through here. Paper towel and put it over so that it doesn't stick to me because I really don't like that. It's so annoying. So I'm not, I can't decide where to put this first, last, or whatever. So I'm gonna put it now. And you just take like the flat side and put it to the top. Okay, so after that, since he's gonna be turned out on it, I wanna make sure that I do some butt wrap also. Start around here. You don't need a ton of this. So then you get your scissors. Then you start with the duct tape. And then just like the vet rip, you're gonna start and do one around the edges. One more layer. Just to have you next to me. Then you're all set. Geography. 